David passionately delved into the tumultuous realm of boxing theatrics. Imagine this scenario from last Saturday. The boxing arena in Las Vegas was the stage for a gripping clash between David Benavidez and Demetrius Andrade. Spoiler alert, Benavidez emerged victorious with a technical knockout in merely six rounds, adding another win to his unblemished record of 28 victories. However, the real intrigue ensued after the bout. Once the dust settled, Benavidez wasted no time. He aimed a direct challenge at the undisputed champion Canelo Alvarez. He boldly threw down the gauntlet, declaring, This is what you all desire against Canelo. Let's make it happen. I'm determined to defeat anyone they place in front of me. I firmly believe I'm the top competitor in this division, with or without Canelo. Let's give the fans what they crave, a fight against Canelo. Now, the World Boxing Council has weighed in, stating that the victor between Benavidez and Andrade will earn the mandatory challenger position for Canelo at 168 pounds. The anticipation is palpable, but there's a twist. Canelo, the enigmatic superstar, has yet to disclose his next move. Speculations are swirling. Talks of a potential rematch with Dmitry Bivol have been circulating for months. The division for this anticipated showdown remains undecided. And let's not overlook Jamie Mungia, another formidable contender in contention. Now, let's mark our calendars for Saturday, May 4th, 2024, as the boxing world is abuzz with excitement for Cinco de Mayo weekend in Vegas, presenting the perfect opportunity for Canelo to announce his next bout. However, the burning question lingers. Will Canelo Alvarez step into the ring to face David Benavidez? Following a challenging defeat against Dimitri Bivol in May 2022, Canelo made a strong comeback, securing victories against Jened Golovkin, John Ryder, and Jal Charlo. His current standing as the undisputed super middleweight champion boasts an impressive record of 60 wins, two draws, and two losses. Now let's delve into the intriguing aspect of this saga. The headline screams, earn your fight. Canelo Alvarez's promoter, Eddie Hearn, sends a direct message to David Benavidez. Hearn, the mastermind behind Canelo's career, steps into the limelight to address the challenge. He throws a curveball by suggesting that if Benavidez desires to face Canelo, he must earn the opportunity. You have to earn your fight in some manner. You need to possess a belt or secure a significant victory, Hearn mentions. But here's the surprising twist. Hearn discloses that Canelo is contemplating two potential fights. This year, Canelo has two potential fights in mind. One against John Ryder, scheduled for May 6th, and the other, a potential rematch with Dimitri Bivol. While a third bout with Benavidez this year seems improbable, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Hearn subtly hints that if Benavidez manages to defeat Plant, there might be a chance for him to face Canelo. It's akin to a strategic chess game, with Benavidez attempting to outmaneuver the undisputed champion. Speaking of strategic moves, Hearn emphasizes that Canelo isn't just a fighter, but a savvy businessman as well. Saul recognizes that triumphing over Caleb Plant would grant him the credibility to challenge others. Hearn discloses Canelo's plan to first confront Ryder, followed by a possible redemption bout against Bivol. As for Benavidez, that matchup might be considered only after overcoming the hurdle posed by Bivol. Now let's delve into some intriguing rumors. There's talk on the street suggesting that Canelo and Benavidez might have had more than just verbal exchanges. Some sources claim they encountered each other face to face, and the situation nearly escalated into a physical altercation. Canelo and Benavidez engaged in a fiery exchange, hurling intense insults at each other and almost coming to blows right then and there. The atmosphere crackled with tension, so palpable you could practically slice it with a boxing glove. But here's the intriguing part. Canelo, the astute strategist, aims to keep his composure. He understands that triumphing over Caleb Plant is the key to unlocking a showdown with Benavidez, the ultimate prize. Hearn stunned everyone by suggesting that there's every chance Canelo might face Benavidez if he emerges victorious against Plant. It's akin to a high-stakes poker game, and Benavidez is fully committed, going all in. Shifting focus to Benavidez, the interim WBC super middleweight champion refuses to stay passive. His sights are set firmly on the grand prize, Canelo Alvarez. Benavidez issues a warning that if he defeats Plant on March 25th, he's set on confronting Canelo. He's been Canelo's WBC mandatory challenger for two fights, 
and he believes it's time for action rather than mere words. However, there's a twist in his approach. Benavidez is willing to play by the WBC's rules. He's prepared to demonstrate his supremacy in the division. Nevertheless, he's not willing to wait indefinitely. The clock is ticking, and Benavidez is ready to take action, intensively training, focusing on endurance, and aiming for a decisive knockout victory over Plant. Benavidez is preparing for an iconic clash, adding to the intrigue of this boxing saga, leaving us with more questions than answers. Will Canelo overcome Bivol and strategize for a Benavidez showdown? Can Benavidez prove himself deserving of a bout with Canelo? It's a waiting game as the clock ticks down to the momentous Cinco de Mayo weekend in 2024. In the realm of boxing drama, anything can unfold. Let's rewind to the aftermath of Benavidez's victory over Andrade, where the boxing community buzzed with excitement. Fans eagerly anticipated the epic clash with Canelo. However, the plot thickened as rumors circulated. It was whispered that Canelo and Benavidez didn't just engage in heated verbal exchanges, they nearly came to blows in a showdown that could have brought the arena roof crashing down. Imagine a face-off so intense it threatened to ignite the entire arena. The atmosphere crackled with tension as insults flew and tempers flared, with fists almost ready to engage. However, Canelo, the strategic maestro, exhibited restraint, understanding the value of playing the long game. His focus extends beyond just defeating Benavidez. It's a calculated move in the complex chessboard of boxing. It's a game of strategic maneuvers and counter moves, and Canelo stands as the grandmaster. Eddie Hearn the mastermind behind Canelo's career, steps forward, shedding light on significant details in an interview with Fight Hub TV. Hearn reveals crucial insights into Canelo's plans concerning Plant. Brace yourself for this revelation. If Canelo emerges victorious against Caleb Plant in their imminent clash, there's a possibility of a showdown with Benavidez next year. Hearn discloses Canelo's intent for two fights this year one against John Ryder slated for May 6th, and the other, the highly anticipated rematch against Dimitri Bivol. The schedule is packed and Benavidez remains an unpredictable factor waiting in the wings. However, there's a significant twist to consider. Hearn stresses that Benavidez must earn his opportunity. You have to earn your fight in some way. You have to have a belt. You have to have a big win, says Hearn, emphasizing the importance of proving one's merit in the ring. To capture Canelo's attention, Benavidez might need to achieve something extraordinary. Yet, there is a substantial obstacle on Canelo's path. Dimitri Bivol. Hearn reveals that the anticipated rematch against Bivol in September won't be an easy feat. It's anticipated to be a demanding challenge. This makes it complicated for Canelo to swiftly pivot and face Benavidez in December. However, Hearn presents a compelling possibility, one that carries weight. If Canelo secures victory over Plant, there's every reason to believe he'd take on Benavidez. It's akin to a high-stakes gamble where the chips are now on the table. Now, let's delve into strategy. Canelo isn't merely a fighter, he's a businessman too. Hearn divulges that Canelo will always seek the right deal because, apart from being a fighter, he's driven by business acumen. It's not solely about pride and glory, it's about the figures and securing a lasting legacy. The plan is structured, fight Ryder, confront Bevel, and only then consider the prospect of a showdown with Benavidez. Canelo isn't hastening into this, he's meticulously orchestrating each move. But what if the dynamics change unexpectedly? What if Canelo falls short against Bevel in September? Hearn tantalizes with uncertainty, revealing that there's no information on Canelo's next steps if he suffers a loss to Bivol. It's an unpredictable variable, adding an extra layer of suspense to the evolving drama. Imagine the plot twists if the seemingly invincible Canelo encounters a setback. Now, let's redirect our attention to the other corner of the ring, David Benavidez. Despite being the interim WBC super middleweight champion, he refuses to remain passive and idle. Despite being Canelo's WBC mandatory challenger for two fights, the WBC has yet to organize the match. Benavidez issues a stern warning. If he triumphs over Caleb Plant on March 25th, he's setting his sights on Canelo. It's a call for action, a proclamation that he's done waiting in the shadows. However, here lies Benavidez's strategic brilliance. He's willing to abide by the WBC's protocols. He's prepared to navigate through the official channels, aiming to establish himself as the rightful contender for Canelo's throne. 
Time is of the essence, though, and Benavidez isn't one to linger in anticipation. He's diligently honing his skills, refining his stamina, and gearing up for that definitive showdown with Plant. Anticipation mounts, and Benavidez stands ready to make a resounding statement. Let's delve into the circulating rumors within the boxing circles. Whispers echo in the corridors of boxing, hinting that Canelo and Benavidez might have encountered more than just a verbal altercation. Some claim it nearly escalated into a full-fledged brawl. Picture the intensity and adrenaline coursing through as these two boxing titans stood face to face on the brink of engaging in an epic showdown. It was a moment that could have etched itself into history. However, here's the twist. Canelo is biding his time. He understands that securing victory over Plant is the pivotal step, the golden ticket that leads to the much-anticipated Benavidez showdown. Hearn adds more fuel to the fire by suggesting that there's no valid reason why Canelo wouldn't face Benavidez if he conquers Plant. It's an enticing prospect, a promise of explosive action inside the ring. The drama is intensifying, reaching its zenith, and the boxing world holds its collective breath. In this realm of boxing drama, where every move is calculated and every uttered word carries immense significance, the anticipation mounts. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.